what is self-sovereign digital identity? And we'll come on to how this ties into the rest in a second. But if you look at self-sovereign digital identity, um, it is what if you had a verified, secure, private and digital copy of your data that you control? Um, and that's a key sort of like operative point here where it, 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 it's quite important that like you need to be able to control whom you share the data with, which parts of that data you share, and how is that sort of uh, regulated or how is that sort of like made um, in a fashion where you understand what the consequences of those are rather than it being stored by a specific company like say Facebook. The identity checks that are taking place could be done in seconds rather than perhaps say the minutes or days that it takes right now. Um, I you know, recently opened a bank account and, and it took about like 24 hours just to go through that, take a selfie, take a passport type check. Um, and it's instant, more efficient and more trustworthy in, in like giving control back um, as well as making that sort of like digital process itself more secure than perhaps slinging uh, PDF documents around. 